This is the combined Japan Cup of 2023. Welcome back climbers and I'm surprised to see Futaba Ito here starting off first because that means that she barely just qualified for this combined cup final. In this combined cup we have bouldering round and elite climbing round. This is very similar to the Olympic format. And coming in for women's one, this is actually quite steep and they're as asking them for a press move already. Wow, this is quite impressive from the get-go. These are new holds by Tentoman holes. They are shaped by a very famous Japanese IFSC root setter called Gen Hiroshima. And Futabaya Ito here making quick work of this boulder problem, making it look easy. Having a nice toe hook grab here and she had to kind of slight pedal to the top maybe. Oh, so smooth and easy for her. What a beautiful flash. Futaba Ito previously flashed all four boulder problems at the Boulder Japan Cup. So I'm really surprised to see her barely just qualifying for this combined competition. But we have a lot of climbing to go through and we have a lot of contenders because Aimori is has to come back and has to redeem herself. So Futaba Ito here, beautiful toe hook, super nice and controlled. Those Tentamen holes are really slopey but she makes quick work of them and she looks super in form. If anybody can win, Futape Ito is actually one of my top picks. This is Anon Matsufuji. Uh, she's you know up and coming and she's made, she's made like Japan Cup and National Finals very consistently. So we've seen her come around, she's not a stranger and her name is quite familiar to uh, some of us, especially if you've been following the climbing scene, if you've been following this channel. So it would be good to see her really like, you know, score a medal here or there because she has made the final several, several times, but she hasn't really got to the point where she can really grab a medal consistently. Uh, but getting to finals is already a big, huge achievement and she makes this first boulder very easy. So now this is the slab and how it works is that climbers come in via rotation. So you might see you know, two climbers on the wall at the same time as well. This is because we follow the Olympic style format. And this is very similar to the Olympic uh, format in 2024. Okay, why I say similar is because they actually have not solidified the complete details of the scoring system. So, boulder number one looks like a welcome boulder. It's quite easily be easily flashed. But the real problem starts with the slab. Women's number two, and this is Futaba Ito, boulder World Cup. Um, finalist and Boulder Japan Cup champion recently. Eyeing up the 25, this is a really small right foot. Can she get across? Oh, she does it really smooth. Come on, for Futabeito. If she can really score well on this bouldering, and if the boulder, boulder problems are hard enough, I think she can pull a hit very far. Now we introduce Miho Naka on boulder number one. We should expect uh, expect a flash here, but if she doesn't flash it on the first go, it's not the end of the world because we still go through but the points problems. Now if they don't flash, they have uh, a little bit of points taken off. So let's say if they have the full flash and they take the first attempt, they will have a full like uh, 25 points. If not, they will kind of cut down the number of points from 25 uh, onwards. I think previously they did a different kind of system um, with the, the European Combined Cup with the Boulder and Lead. Uh, this time it might be a little bit different. Although right now we have Nakagawa Ryu. Uh, she's one of the taller female climbers so you might see a little bit of difference in styles and beta compared to the others. She decides to heal here and take this under clean quite nicely and she should be able to flash this. She doesn't make room for a toe. Yeah, she has to make room for a toe. Matches the top and it's just easy work for the ladies. Yes, I'm on the muscle for now. I'm on the slap, trying to figure out this weird, ooh, pressy undercling move. Now she has to step on this super small chip. I, I hope we get a better view of it. Oh, but uh, yeah, it looks good enough just to be able to transfer your way over and grab that good hole on the top. She isn't known to smile very much, is she? <laughs> this is Aimori, the legend, the hot topic right now. Aimori had a disappointing Boulder Cup final uh, last month, last two months ago. So this is her time to really, you know, make her redemption and make her mark on the international team. If she does well on this one, she'll be definitely going into the Japan team to go into the IFSC World Cups and to compete, especially in the combined uh, Olympic formats because it's very competitive you know this year is the year where these climbers have to fight 
each other uh, for just only two spots on for every nation for a spot in the Olympics. So it's going to be extremely tough. I'm already toe-hooking uh, something that the others didn't toe-hook. So uh, due to her little shorter span, she does have to kind of increment every single hold a little bit more. But uh, should be no problem for her because she's incredible and she's easy to flash for. I Mori. Now we're introduced to boulder number three with Taba Ito leading the way on boulder number three. Let's see if Taba Ito on the left here can kind of find the starting position. It's quite of a tricky start because you have these four points, but they're kind of spread apart. Oh, she's doing some Egyptian just to touch the starting hole. There's a little bit of a precarious position here. So. Yes, so she'll be pressing uh, against, and she'll need to kind of scour and search to find the right positions and holes. Because when you come to this pressing movements, you have to kind of navigate how your body's gonna come across and swing. Oh, and she doesn't really catch it. It looks a little bit tricky. It looks like a couple of underclings in the inside where the camera doesn't pick up, so we'll have to see how it works. Yeah, so this left hand is kind of okay, but this right hand doesn't seem, seem to be very obvious to hold, and the position uh, is not very um, helpful if you want to really kind of kind of get into the slot. So it really makes you rotate out. Oh, that volume foothold doesn't look very very convincing as well. <laughs> it almost looks like they need, they need a lot more brushing. Yeah, this start is a little bit tricky because you had to touch all four points before you before you can begin. And that happens. So, a weird, awkward start there. It does take out a little bit. Okay, she's trying to go. Ah, okay, she's gonna go facing out. This is probably the way the root says this intended. Um, and it makes it easier for you to stand up. But in the end, when you face out, you always have to come back and face back the wall in. So, you need to be able to figure out a way. And usually, that involves a slight of a violent swing. So, she has to figure it out. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's really cool. So from facing out, you get to rotate your body and rotate your hips further into the wall a little bit easier. Oh my goodness, that's a bad sloper. We only have one minute left. And um, oh, okay. So Futaba Ito managed to get across to the grim. Ah, uh, yes, she's gonna stick the move. This is the classic climbing top section I was talking about. Oh no, she couldn't hold on. Oh. Wow, that's quite a... Um, it looked quite reachy, but I don't think she found a stable position before she reached that. Let's have a look again. Oh my god, no, no there's no ink cut at all. It's completely flat. Oh my goodness, I was wrong. I, this is the diff... Oh, okay. Her heel seems to slip, but I don't think that heel was good enough anyway. Oh man, this is really, really... This is because it takes, it takes you apart, both physically, mentally. And 10 seconds left on the clock, this is her final attempt, she makes it very solid on the right hand here, this is like a really bad slow, but she has to slide almost, oh, I thought she was going to pogo and go right again, as she did before, but she tried to go cross left hand, I don't think she's given the 10 points there, and that will really hurt her score, so we'll have to see. Miho Nanaka on the slap, she's on, she's approaching the 10th, yes, she manages to stop the swing, a little bit of a back flag, um, and this top move should be no problem for her. She knows how to do this. She's done this. Oh, oh no. Whoops. <laughs> Caster's curse. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like that full hole is very kind. And um, you have to be really careful on it. I think she tried to put too much pressure before she got her hips over. Um, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, she did, but it doesn't seem too convincing that she got her hips and hit over first. She did get her hip over, but I don't think she got her full weight over. Okay, let's see her next attempt. She makes a start pretty easy. This little coordination shouldn't be a problem for her. There we go, Miho. Now, she's stepping on this Rock City volume. Rock City volumes aren't known for being the best rough texture. They have a really interesting texture, as I've heard. Um, that black part is actually dual text, so it's very interesting. Some root testers can really make cool roots from that. Oh, she actually slips from the tent, not super in control there. About one minute left on the clock, she is making this attempt count. She has to get some uh, get some points on the board without too many attempts. She goes in very much more controlled this time. She looks like she learned from her mistake. 
Oh, that's tiny, tiny hole. Oh, she slips again. No. She seems to kick and put too much force before her weight um, and hips go over yet. So, uh, it's not about the shoes problem. I heard the commenters talking about the shoes. This is more, I think, more of a more of a mental and more of a technique based thing. Yeah, she's super frustrated. She only has 30 seconds left. This is probably her last attempt uh, if she has to establish a start. And she needs to kind of make this work in order to stay in the running because bouldering is part of Miho's um, forte. Slap, maybe not, but uh, you know, she needs to score high here before going on to the, the lead wall because the lead wall is very um, unforgiving. You gotta be really a specialist lead climber to score well. She only has 7 seconds on the clock. Um, I think she's really gonna go for this one. She has to hurry, she only has 2 seconds left. Oh! Unfortunate for Miho Nonaka, but she did get 10 points. This isn't the end of the world, but that 25 points should have been hers. Um, Anon Masufuji on women's tree makes this uh, makes this right underclean quite smooth. She's gonna go for the big sloper. Oh, quite controlled. She oh, it looks almost easy for her. I like her hand technique on the sloper. Oh, so sick. Goes crossing left. Goes for the match. Come on, Anon. Okay, she's a little bit. Okay, she's this is a huge side pull here. She should find her left foot and secure the jug. Yeah, let's go. The first top of women's tree. Come on, I think she's leading. She's on the she's on the top for now. And uh, wow, well done, Anna Masafuji. Now we see a smile from her. Now we see it. Ryo Nakagawa, uh, 40 seconds on the clock. Uh, she should find this move okay, uh, but she's a little bit um hesitant. That left foot hole is slightly dual tax, but it's quite one of the better uh, flat hole. Holes, oh, she didn't really get her weight over. Yeah, she's trying to stretch for it. That's not how you would kind of approach it. 10 seconds left. Uh, you need a little bit more than 10, cause 10 seconds from the start. So let's see if she can work a miracle here. Two seconds left. And I, oh, she doesn't have enough time. I'm already on women's two. Ooh, doesn't flash, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, flashing on this border would mean uh, quite a lot, actually. Means you're definitely a hit going into women's three, but uh, securing women's three first. Oh, just a little bit. Uh, couldn't really hold the swing. Um, she is a little bit shorter, so that underclaim may not feel as great to her as the other competitors. She's kind of jumping it to do a little bit of foot swap. It's like quite complicated at this start, even though it looks relatively straightforward. Actually, quite complicated. Stands out on her right foot. Now, how does a 5 foot climber navigate through this coordination section? She needs to find some purchase first. She doesn't seem super balanced. Yeah, she's trying to. You, yeah, if you're crimping the wrong side of the hole, you're almost in a desperate position. Yeah, I think her right foot heel is pointing too much to the left. Ah, she makes it anyway. Well done, I am Mori. Um, that left hole from Kilter is quite nice and in cut, so no problem there. This wall isn't too slabby, actually. Maybe only like. Two 3 degrees slab, um, but the, the whole the volumes make it make up for it. Standing up to this 10th, no problem, gets her weight across her head and hips across nicely. Now, can she do the same for this small foot chip on uh, before the top? Oh, she's actually pondering if she can move. Okay, yeah, that's a really tough one. So she's using the Futuras, I believe. Uh, last last possible Futuras, so she should be able to. Okay. Oh, okay, she's considering crimping the wrong side of the volume. Oh, we have another climber in purple. Uh, oh, wait, what? I took my eyes off. I'm worried for a second and she just topped. Did she just go static on that? Oh my goodness. She does insane things you would never think of, man. And that's I'm worried for you. It'll be good to see Futaba Ito flash this problem. I think she really needs to flash to have a really powerful bouldering score uh, because Anon Masafuji did top women's tree. Uh, so she is currently in the lead, but so Futaba Ito needs to do a good job here in order to be a good position. Oh, okay, she does get the 1-2, but I think you're kind of looking for the 1-2-3, <laughs> you know? She already used one minute to brush and do the first attempt. And that's the thing about competition climbing, you only actually have three, just a little bit over three minutes. You don't actually have four minutes. You don't. You really don't. Because the first 30 seconds, even Tomoa takes... Oh, there we go. One, two, three. That's in control, she knows it. Maybe she just didn't really account for the third hole. There we go, bumping her left foot, getting the right heel in. It's quite slopey that hole, so but she should be okay. Going into this hit wall here. 
going left, she should have no problems here. This volume isn't uh, the best foot placement in the world, but that hole, top hole is quite high and she has to power through. Oh wow, really nice locking off with the left hand, matching the top and securing boulder number four. So she topped three boulders, she didn't miss uh, the third one, but she should be quite okay. If she does okay in the lead, she should be able to podium. Now because Koike Hana actually uh, topped women's four, puts a lot of pressure on Miho knowing that, you know, that means she has to really like secure well. She actually secured a 10 here. I think if she secures the 10 here, she should be in okay shape and she does okay in the, or pretty good in the lead. Oh! No, the camera cut away, dude! Come on, dude! <laughs> oh, come on, Miho Nanaka. Yeah, and she manages to top. This is quite a huge deal because um, Futaba Ito did not manage to do this and it's great that Miho does this and especially because Miho did not top the slap so this is a must top for her to keep in the running she's happy with that uh, and she has to eye for the women's 4 and ideally flash it for a good result Ano Matsufuji on the left and Ryu Nakagawa on the right Ano Matsufuji is quite comfortable having been topped all 3 bowlers so far if she can top um, this women's fall, which she should be able to, I think she'd be in a solid position. I'm not sure how great her lead climbing is, but we will see later on. So can she figure out and flash this first move? Oh, beautiful triple paddle. And I like this kind of paddle because you are, you're not, you're not focused on the front. You're kind of like paddling behind, you're paddling across this 3D environment. It's, I think it's really fun for the climbers as well. Not easy to do, of course, but uh, I think it's super cool and fun. Come on, Ali! Yes, I think she's that flash. That's the flash, and we see a big smile from Anon Master Fuji. It's incredible. I think she finally, like, budding and springing into the, a finalist position, into a top medal podium position. So well done, Anon Master Fuji. Too easy for her. Ayumori seemed to struggle with the face out start, so she's trying this front on facing style. Can she? Be kind of transition into the right hand side though because uh, it's not the best position to really grab that creepy underclean which you don't really see right now. Oh very close for the climb on the left. I'm already trying to do things slowly. Will she be able to hold the swing? Yeah you can't. You need to pivot from the outside. I'm already, yeah, still, this crimp here it's just facing away from you and you need to come in from the outside to catch this in a nice position but she's she's starting from already inside so it's a little bit difficult for her I'm already will pursue because this is what she likes to do and she gets it come on I'm already she always does things completely different from everybody else this is the lady that oh no oh man that's a big move yeah only 30 seconds left and she didn't even got the the scoring 10 yet, so bouldering is her strong suit. So she needs to be able to actually, no, lead is her strong suit. Sorry, but bouldering is quite she's quite good at bouldering too. But she needs to be able to secure some good points here on women's tree because women's four seems to be not easy, but it seems to be scorable. Uh, nine seconds left. I don't think she can really reach the top, she has to be gunning for the 10th hole, but I don't think she has enough time. and uh, Miho Nanaka on women's 4. Let's see if sh she can flash this pedal. Oh, doesn't seem to get the right momentum. It's a bit tricky because you need to be able to time when you're going to launch off the right foot. Oh, too easy. She reads it and yeah, after learning and adjusting, she goes. It's too easy for her. Now slippery, not so slippery actually, but just kind of a smeary volume. Oh, I like how she actually took it uh, with the right hand under cling to secure her right foot on top. It's very nice, very experienced climbing. Um, yeah, some people don't really consider doing that a lot, but Mihonaka showing her veteran skills. Now Aimori on boulder number 4, she needs to flash this in order to get an itch over Futaba Ito. Um, if she wants to go for the gold, she would need to flash this because she didn't even get the uh, second zone on the third boulder. and. Uh, yeah, doesn't seem to be able to do this as well. Um, I think she's in a bit of a pickle. Um, it's not been going so well for her in this bouldering round. 
And the commentators, Japanese commentators, are also a little bit silent here. The whole crowd in the theater is a bit silent because we do expect Iron Warrior to be, you know, doing very well in the boulder rounds, but it seems that, um, you know, she's a little bit lost sometimes. Oh, okay, so the camera missed, but she did catch this. She opts for a toe hook um, before going on to this um, top section, and she should find this no problem. So she should be topping. Oh, a little bit of a swing there. Okay, oh, swapping in. A uh, little bit not super control, but it's I, Mori. She should have no problem and reaching the 25th point top. I, Mori secures some points on the board. I, Mori is actually fourth. Okay, not too bad. Starting off with Futaba Ito on the lead. She's the first to climb on. And let's see how far she gets. Futaba Ito, you know, boulder specialist. She did quite okay. In the boulder round, but uh, she knows that she is better than that, uh, and she needs to be able to score very well here in order to beat Anon Master Fuji. Anon Master Fuji was on fire the boulder round, um, quite unexpected actually, um, especially from her previous results. She has always been a regular finalist, but um, she didn't seem like a medal material until just now. So, Futabi 2 has a work cut up for her, she wants to medal as well. She has to be able to go past. So this lead start, the first section looks pretty okay. See, quite controlled, nothing too out of the blue. Uh, moving into this yellow super holes. These super holes are a new company. Um, they make very high quality uh, volumes and they are branching into hold volumes. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't personally touched them a lot, but uh, I heard they're pretty good. They're more on the expensive side. Um, so I haven't seen too many Asian gyms. If you have, you know, touched these holes or used these holes, let me know. Yeah, they're apparently very good and you know, lots of good reviews, apparently, from uh, European and American setters. Um, but making way in Japan right now. Okay, this is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit of a tricky session. A little bit maybe toe hooky action, heel hooky action, a couple of pockets here and there. Um, I'm interested in this white section. This white section looks really weird to read. I don't really see a clear way. It looks like a mix of all sorts of brands from Cheetah, Flat Hole, Ibex and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm interested to go into this. Yeah, look. Okay, this white section here is quite hard to read. Oh, what? Yo, I thought that was like a right hand bump, but no. Yeah, it's too bad for a right hand bump. That's a really salt, slopey pinch. She uses it as a toe hook to balance herself. And then another high toe hook, almost at head level, to go across through these pockets here. So this is like the middle section already, and she should be quite good. She should be happy with the performance from here. But she's not in podium position just of yet, I believe. Oh, this is a hard move! Oh! I already knew it. That was look really difficult. That's good. that's a really droppable section. Oh, that's so disappointing. Just as, and just as we thought she's gonna do well. Uh, Masu Fuji now she leading the way from the bouldering round. She almost got a near perfect score. She topped all four boulders, and now she has to make a case for herself. She needs to put her name out there to win the gold because there are only two spots in the Olympics, and she wants to win here this time because. She can put an appeal for her name to be in the international team to go into the international world cups and to qualify for the Olympic qualifier event. So, Anna Masafuji here, a lot at stake. She is quite not so familiar with the international scene, but she's doing very well recently in these final comps. So she has to really get across and go for the top. Now, she's currently in first position after reaching that pocket, but uh, she, you know, she's still not over there yet because there are other climbers coming on. But she's currently in first position now, so she's already very comfortable. I think she's almost guaranteed a medal at this point, but she, I know she can go further and she knows she can go further. So uh, approaching this quite tricky uh, white whole section. Um, Futaba Ito did a really interesting toe hook and Anna Masafuji is opting not to do that. She thought about it. Oh no, my goodness, she can't, she can't she recover. Oh, oh no, it's the big twice. Oh no, oh, no, no, dude. Oh, is that enough for a goal? 
Oh, that pocket pile is tricky. Oh no. She, I think she kind of misread that. She didn't get enough swing and she says disappointing. She is currently in first position. Oh no. Okay. She, she, she did consider that. Oh, yeah. She did do a toe hook here. Okay, okay, cool. Um. Okay. But. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she just get, didn't get enough tension on the left foot hole. Oh no, that's so disappointing. We all know that feeling, we all know that position as climbers, and that's just not nice. <sighs> but it's not over yet. She's currently in gold, but it's still not over yet too. Miho Nanaka now, on the leap wall. Um, yeah, this basic first section should be no problem for her. Uh, a little bit slopey, a little bit edgy, but nothing too droppable. The real climbing is going to start very soon though. Now Mio Nanaka, she has to probably not get too far up on the lead wall, but high enough, significantly high enough to be able to secure the goal. I think she's in good position. I think she could win this whole thing. Nanaka is doing quite well in the lead. She did very well in the Japan Lead Cup, um, which was really, really surprising. So Miho Nanaka really focusing on her lead skills recently. I think she's super solid. She looks super efficient right now. With lots of confidence. She doesn't seem to be sweating at all. I love her SpongeBob chalk bag. <laughs> this is her SpongeBob chalk bag. You need to see that again. But Miho Nanaka should be able to cruise this section. Oh, a little bit of cut loose there. Not too efficient, I guess. Um, but it seems like she's in control, she seems confident, yeah, she knows what to do, uh, very nice and slow into this tohu, not too fretting or anything now, so this pocket is one that dropped a few climbers already, but she manages to put her weight nicely on the left foot, gets to this drop knee to secure the clip, uh, very well done, I'm not sure why Anamasu Fuji struggled here, I think Miho Naka is putting on a good clinic from her experience, she knows these positions well. I know Masofuji maybe just a little too excited, pulling a little bit too hard. They didn't quite weight her feet properly. Oh, okay, this is the move that dropped Saba Ito. Can she do it? Oh no, she drops as well. No. <laughs> oh, that's so disappointing. She had a lot of time left. Ah, oh, no. Now, Ryu Nakagawa, I'm not familiar with her lead climbing. So, this is the first for us to see. Moving into these pockets. She does seem to reach, wow, she reached higher instead of the lower one. Oh, okay, smart. She is a little bit taller than the other climbers, so that maybe that beta works for her a little bit better. She looks very comfortable in these pockets here though, so not too much of a problem. She does fumble, scramble a little bit here, but she should be able to fix herself. Now, this is the move that dropped lots of climbers. Can she figure out a better way to do it? She looks like she's... Oh, wait, wait. Did she just step on the... Uh, I don't know, it looks like she stepped a little bit on the ball hanger clip thing, but whatever, she's <laughs> she's making her way through, and I like this section here. A little bit of a frog move, right foot on the toe, pocket, uh, left foot on the heel. Oh, her left hand looks very pumped right now, and moving to this blue section, we have not really seen this blue section yet. Oh. Good fight from Ryu Nakagawa. We have Aimori now. now. Redemption is on the line, Aimori didn't do too well in the Boulder Cup, now can she reclaim her throne in the combined cup. She was because she did win the combined um, last year. She won the combined in the international um, scene as well in Morioka, Japan as well. Um, so, you know, she's arguably the best combined female athlete in the world. And uh, she doesn't need to get too far on the lead wall, but I would like to see her gun for the blue section. I want to see her top this route. I like, we always like to see all the climbers do all the moves. So let's see if she can do it. She's a little bit out of form, I guess, in a bit of a weird mental state in the bouldering round, but she should be at home in this lead wall, and she should be uh, looking to score. Now, this is quite sunny and it's quite heated uh, from what I heard from the commentators and the athletes saying. A little bit of cut loose here, shouldn't be too much of a problem. That was very well controlled. But yeah, it's a little bit of a uh, you know, warm day for the athletes, uh, I'm not sure how that's going to affect them. Oh, I feel a risky toe hook here. Oh my goodness, how would you toe hook where you... you I, I barely can match hands. I barely can swap feet. 
and she is able to <laughs> swap her hand with her toe hook. Oh my goodness. Like, I know that's not impressive for some of you because you guys are super strong, but it's super impressive to me. Oh man. <sighs> because I always kind of tend to step on my feet whenever I try to do that. And I just, just don't do those moves. I just try to find some other beta or make room for my hands. Um, but yo, what is she standing on? Her left heel there, but her right foot is literally standing on dual tags. Just smearing on the wall, wow. She literally finds rest positions in places that you would never believe. She cruises this section, completely with her own beta. Uh, it makes you think like what the other climbers are doing, you know? Just, my Mori just makes them look so bad. <laughs> my Mori just makes every other climber like a noob, you know? But she's so... So special, and if you want to see how, you know, the, her climbing style and her climbing habits, I did a whole analysis uh, in a previous video, but now, she secured the goal, she is number one, but can she top this? So uh, yeah, I guess uh, she didn't do too badly on the boulder round, but she managed to stick this, she is, this is the highest point for her, she's already just going for glory at this point. Come on, I'm Ori Gamba. I'm Ori, even for competitors. That's why I love climbing so much. Because even though your opponents cheer for you, we're all here to conquer the wall and the problem together. That's what brings a community together. And I'm Ori, oh, this is huge. A huge left crib. I say huge, I mean like really small crib. <laughs> wow, this is like a press move. Oh my goodness, this is like a, this is almost like a technique slab kind of sequence. Pressing out of the right palm, swinging her right foot over. Oh my goodness, she's super pumped. She's chalking up every single move with only one minute in the clock. She does have a lot of time. So she can chalk out here if she wants to. The next few sequences, a little bit droppable. Come right hand here. How's she gonna swap feet? Oh, can she remain the tension? Oh, she's going out. Come on, I'm already. Go for the 100. Go for the 100. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Clip. Of course, Ayamori tops the route, Sasuga Ayamori to secure not just the goal but to win it for the glory and proving, us, proving to all to us that you can never count Ayamori out. Not even a horrendous world around could stop Ayamori. That's just incredible. What a masterclass by Ayamori. If you enjoyed this video so far, you are a legend. Hit that like button.